Three, two, one. Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi. Okay, so glass art painting. It's been like a series on my channel and a lot of you guys like it. So today we're going to be doing another glass art painting. If you don't know what it is, um, I basically paint anime cells on glass. And whenever I do this, I always like to add like a small twist onto it. Like last time I painted with mirror paint. I painted with layers. You know, just like a small twist onto it. So today, I'm going to be painting with resin. Well, not like the whole part, but like I want to paint the background with resin. And I think it's just going to be really pretty. Kind of like fake stained glass. And what to draw? I actually asked you guys your favorite animes and a lot of people answered Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer is one of my favorite animes as well. So you know what? Demon Slayer it is. And I want to go with Shinobu-chan because she's one of my favorite characters. So without further ado, painting on glass with resin. Let's get started. And here's the glass that we're going to be using today. It's so heavy. <laughs> it's okay, that was my ladybug. And here it is. Nice and clean and transparent. So now I'm going to change the camera angle so you guys can see it close up. So this is the glass that I'm going to be using today. And like I said, I want to draw Shinobu-chan. I just love her so much. So let me get my sketchbook. Oh wait, this is my old sketchbook. Okay, this is my newest sketchbook. And here we have Shinobu-chan. I drew this a while ago and I think I'm just gonna use this as my base. I don't really like tracing art, so I normally draw everything from scratch. But since I've already drawn this, I just want to use this as the base. Don't worry, I drew it, so it's kind of like tracing my own art. By the way, here's some more drawings that I've never showed to anyone. But yeah, that's that. I'm going to put my drawings aside and let's start the project. So first off first, I want to trace this drawing. So I've got my light box and I'm just going to try to trace over it. Okay, normally I go for older animes when I'm working on this project. Anime cells were basically made years ago, and nowadays every animes are made digitally. I mean, it's kind of impossible to replicate the digital anime scenes using this method. It's definitely going to look worse. So I always like to stick to older animes. But I mean, I thought this scene would look really pretty and a lot of you guys requested Demon Slayer, so Demon Slayer it is. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over and trace from the other side. I like to make the rough draft with blue lead because it's going to be easier for me to outline it. And I'm saying this again, but I drew that drawing so I'm just tracing my old drawing. And if you guys are interested, I drew this in my old video where I drew for a week. So please check that out if you haven't yet. And I'm done with the rough draft. Time for the glass. I'm going to put it right in the middle and I'm just going to tape it up with the masking tape. So. I went to Costco and bought this pack of washi tape. Which masking tape to use? Okay, maybe this one because it's just like easy to take it out. So I'm going to put this right in the center and I'm just going to tape it down like so. Then I'm going to flip it and I'm going to tape down the edges. Looking good. And now it's time to outline it with a Posca paint pen. <gasps> it's kind of out of ink. So I went for a quick shop. Okay, Posca paint pens. Where are they? Ooh, here's some markers, pens, and Posca paint pens. There they are. I need black. I think this is black. Yes, it is. I could get one really thin black. And I think this is all I need. I literally need to go to another art hall because a lot of my markers are running out of ink. And I'm back. So now I'm going to shake it. And now let's start the outline.
Okay, what colors do I need? So this is going to be her clothes, some parts of her hair. I think I got this for her hair, her accessories, and her clothes. I'm going to mix this and some black and some white. Ooh, this paint is all blotchy. I don't think I can use this. No. And I poured it all over myself. A little bit of white. It's actually really important to make the colors drastically different so you can see the contrast. If the colors are too similar, it's going to be really hard to see the difference at the end. So I'm trying my best to kind of like adjust the colors. So that's for her hair. Now I'm going to make her clothes. I'm going to pour it into this jar. Some purple and some black. It's also very important to mix them well. I feel like I'm doing a science experiment. And I think that's going to work for her clothes. I need to make her skin color. A little bit of purple, a really small amount of red. And that's going to be for her shadow. We have the base ready. We have all the colors. I actually want them on this side. The smell was so strong, I opened my window, so I'm sorry if you hear like random noises. With a small brush, I'm going to dip it in like so and swipe the colors on. You need to make them really juicy to make them opaque. So there was a problem. I don't know why, but the paint were all really chunky. I mean, this is my sixth time doing this project and I've never really had this much of trouble before and I couldn't really tell why it wasn't working too well. The paint kept getting really blotchy and hard to work with and would kind of melt the lines and would go everywhere. It was a disaster. I tried to pull through for a few hours, but I finally just decided to give up. Okay, I completely destroyed this part, so I think I have to redo everything. Be right back, guys. And I'm back, and it's actually the next day. I'm back with a fresh new glass. I didn't film it because I didn't feel like filming the same thing all over again, but basically, it's a fresh new glass. Now, I'm going to get my tape, and with the same paint, I'm going to redo everything again. Oh my gosh, guys, I finally figured out why some paint work and some paint don't. And that is because they were different brands. It looks exactly the same, but Mr. Color works, but this Aquarius one doesn't work. That's why like it wasn't going too well. So now I have to like remake some colors. So I finally figured out why things weren't going too well. It was the paint. Now I learned something new. There's different types of paint on the same shelf, and while they look so similar, some brands don't work and some brands do. I always keep in my mistakes and struggles because no artist is perfect, and I think everyone can learn from everyone's mistakes. Okay, now I'm going to wait for a bit for it to dry. See you guys later. I don't always show how I'm taking rests in between because I'm just fast forwarding everything, but this painting part takes a while to complete. I need to wait hours in between each session so the paint won't mix in. It's been a few days since I started this project. I mean, I kind of messed it up as well. And since this glass painting is really complicated, I took my time to color them in nicely. Okay, for the sword part, I did think about using mirror paint, but mirror paint doesn't look really well from the back. So instead of using that, I decided to make my own color. I'm going to get a little bit of gray and some silver pigment. I'm going to tap it in and I'm just going to paint it on like so. We're almost done. Lastly, we're going to do the hair and the skin. 
This glass painting is probably my favorite out of all. You can check my other ones, but they're a lot more simple. I mean, she's holding a katana, she has like accessories and everything. Just a bit more complicated than the other ones. Please comment below your favorite glass painting so far. Okay, now I'm going to wait for a few hours for it to dry completely. See you guys in like five hours. So I went to my local store to kill some time. Oh look, a Demon Slayer capsule toy. Let me try this one. Here's one. Oh look, there's another one, so I'm gonna try this one. And here's the last one that I'm gonna do. Let's pray for Shinobu. And now I'm going to go home and open it. Oh, wait, 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 last one. Look, it's a bag. And let's open it at home. Now it's not completely dry yet, but it's like dry enough to touch it. Okay, the reveal. Three, two, one. Ta-da. Okay. Okay, not bad. I do see some smudges here and there, but overall, I'm not mad. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside now. I'm just going to let it rest. And in the meantime, I'm going to be working on the background on a separate piece of glass. I really didn't want to ruin it because I wasn't too sure if it's going to work out. So this is how it's going to look. And this is going to be on the back, but I'm just going to put it on the front for now. I'm just going to tape up the edges. So I'm going to make sure the background stays inside the lines. As you guys know, I'm going to be using resin. Whenever I use resin, I always put gloves on. First off first, I'm going to use this 3D resin. This resin is basically kind of like puffy paint where it kind of like puffs up. I'm going to make some lines. Basically, I'm making like a wall so the resin doesn't go everywhere. I just want them to stay inside the lines. I've used this resin a couple of times before, but it smells so bad. It smells really weird. It's really hard to make like a straight line. It's coming out from the side. This is a disaster. Now I'm just going to use my UV light and just kind of go over it until it hardens. Okay, moving on. So here's all my resin, some color pigments, and some sparkly stuff that I may use or may not use. Let's see. Hmm. I'm going to pour in some resin. Mm. I feel like I'm going to need quite a lot. Okay, let me just pour it out. And one more. I'm going to color this one with this purple. This one, I'm going to make it red violet. And in this one, I'm going to put in some gold flakes. Ooh. Oh, this is definitely going to be really pretty. I'm going to add in a little bit more and I'm just going to mix it in. Okay, so now I'm just going to pour in the resin. And I'm just going to pour it wherever I feel like it. And using a brush, I'm just going to like spread it out. And now I'm just going to use a heat gun and pop all the bubbles. And now I'm just going to use my light again to harden it all up. I know, this is such a small light. I feel like it's going to take forever. So while we're waiting for everything to dry and harden, let's open the capsules. So let's open these up. 
I actually do a lot of these capsule unboxing on my other channel and a lot of people want me to do it on this channel so hope you guys like it. So for my first one, oh, I got Nesco and Inosuke. That's so adorable. Their eyes are so cute. It looks like they're playing with the floaty. My second one is... It's Tanemi. I think he's the cutest guy character. I love it when like the scary guys turn so nice at the end. Moving on and... <gasps> And here we've got Shinobu. Wow, she's so cute and adorable and I love her accessory. I wonder where her hair goes. Okay, so the last one. The reveal. Tomiyoka-san. And it's a little bag. And you could put like small stuff in it. Like maybe if you want to like go for a walk or something. I'm probably not going to use it as like a bag, but maybe as like a pouch. Ooh, it's actually printed very nicely. So that's all my capsule toys. Let's go back to the video. So it's the next day and it's completely dry. And if we put it together, it looks something like this. <gasps> it's actually really pretty. Let me see. Yeah, I actually like it a lot. I think this is my best glass art painting I've ever done before. I like how it's kind of see-through and kind of like stained glass. I think Shinobu turned out really pretty. Out of all my other glass art paintings, I'm sure this was like the most complicated and it took the most time. So I'm actually quite satisfied with how it turned out. Do you like it, Baymax? I think I have enough glass art paintings that I can make like a gallery now. Which glass art painting of mine do you guys like the most? Please comment below. Anyways, I think that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!